Oh, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Can I tell y'all I almost melted today? <laughs> I almost melted out here in this Texas sun. I had the bright idea because I wanted to be creative and I was really feeling like getting out and I know it's hot. I don't know what I was thinking about, but I almost killed my dog today because it's hot outside and I was trying to get some content. It didn't work. So now we're here and I'm getting ready to do a photo shoot here at the house because it's just too hot outside. So I decided since I'm in the mood to get some footage, I'm gonna get a photo shoot, a whole shoot out of this. And we're gonna do this very quickly because I actually have to cook dinner for my man. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. This is my backdrop. It's a little wrinkled, so I'm gonna get the wrinkles out with my iron. I have it plugged in, I put some steam in there. So you just, as you would steam anything, you wanna pull it tight and hit it with the heat. Now because I am doing this quickly, I'm not gonna make this all perfect. If I was taking pictures of someone else, I would, probably steam this out a little bit better but I don't need all that I just need this to be for the majority of the wrinkles to be out and anything else I can edit out in an editing app the one I like to use uh, for smoothing things out is actually Facetune I also use Lightroom for editing my photos all right, so I'm here. I just brought a couple of my plants from my room over to where this backdrop is. Because I'm just using these pictures like for Instagram, I don't really need for the backdrop to be up super high. And I can also kind of make it low, that way it comes out onto the floor. I don't really need it to be super wide because again, it's just gonna be shot with my iPhone. Um, and I'll show you guys. So here's my phone here. And I am here. I have my remote. Um, it is currently set up to my phone. So we'll just take some pictures i said i was gonna do a little story time the first time that i ever started doing these types of things was like in 20 mm, 2018 maybe where i got a tripod i got a remote and i just started taking pictures myself because no one has time to be waiting for a photographer or even paying a photographer sometimes so he just really wants to be in this video buddha you are really something else so back to what i was saying i didn't have time to be paying for a photographer or anything like that so I'm like I'm gonna learn how to take these pictures myself and so I did and this is where I'm at now with it I have kind of a lot of equipment I would say for somebody that just takes pictures at home I have I have more stuff than the average person I would say um, because I'm serious about it and I love it so when you are serious about something you just make the investment and it's really not a lot you just over time, I've gotten, it's gotten a word, because I don't think it is, but over time, I have purchased different equipment to help me to get what I need to get. So, yeah. I am really sorry, you guys, if this video is like, boring or but i i just really am tired of like trying to conform to perfect and i just want to do me 
So if you rocking with me and you cool with this, then I'm going to do me. And I'm going to talk how I talk. And But I do, honestly, I am trying to broaden my vocabulary. I want to be a very well-spoken lady. So I'm working on it. Reading more books and correcting myself when I'm wrong. So, but I still want to be myself. So thank you guys for being here <laughs> with me for this video. And if I'm babbling, I don't really care because I'm going to get better over time. So if you're here and I keep going on and on, oh the hell well. Screw through the, scroll through the, the, the thing and get to the end of the video when I'm done taking my pictures. There, there's a remote that comes with it. So I'm going to use this remote to take the pictures uh, that I want to take. The light is very nice right now when I come back yeah yeah cuz I still I don't want to be too close to the um, plants in the back I don't want to be too close to them but I do and I think I'm gonna try to get some pictures with uh, just my camera also I can the good thing about this camera is that I can pair my phone also to the camera and get some really really good uh footage also so it's, it works awesome it's just that this camera is so big it's hard to like be on the go with the camera i want to get a smaller one like a sony so that i'm able to do more vlogging when i'm out and about because the canon t7i is huge but as you can see it gets great video so Anyways, let's get right on to this picture. So, I think I'm going to go a little, make sure my hair is straight. All right, so I just finished getting my pictures. They came out pretty awesome. I didn't really have to get a lot because it's just literally for Instagram. And I'll show you guys some of the pictures that I got. They came out really cute. So here's one of the ones that I posted. This here, um, another one was this one here. And another one was this here. So they, I, I like them. Um, I still have more that I didn't post. So I can just use them for later. I don't have to use them now. You can always do that. You don't have to post every single thing that you take that day. Use it for later. I, it, it doesn't really matter. Um, I think with posting, sometimes you want to like share everything and you don't have to. It's actually smarter to pace yourself and what you're posting. If you have like a lot of great pictures that you've taken, just post one at a time, you know, and, and save it. That way you don't have to constantly come up with more content. So that's what I've learned to do to space things out. Um, as far as what I've done with the pictures and the backdrops, um, if you don't have money for backdrops on Amazon, go to your nearest fabric store and pick out whatever colors it is that you like, whatever materials you like. Use that, put it up against your wall in your bedroom or wherever it is that you have an open wall, get some tacks and tack it up against your wall. Put your camera in front of there and get to work. It's super easy. It's, it doesn't take a lot. You just have to think outside of the box. Don't think about what you don't have, but think about what you do have and what can you do with what you have. Because if you sit up and think about, well, I gotta save my money for this camera and I gotta save my money, girl or guy 
use what you have. It's, if it's your camera phone, you can take some amazing pictures with your camera phone. Even if it's an Android, Android has an amazing camera and you can totally get some, I used to use my Android camera all the time. I actually low key like the Android camera for pictures better than the iPhone because it, it, it really mimics a actual camera for real, for real. Um, but the video, not so much. I feel like Android video is not really combat compatible for Instagram. It everything's blurry. I don't know if anybody else notices that, but it just it's not the same. But that's neither here nor there. Back to what we're talking about here. Grab a few things from around your house. Put it in front of your uh, backdrop. And start snapping away. That's all you have to do. It's it. At the end of the day, if I don't get you to understand anything else, is do it. Go for it. Do it. Don't sit on it. Don't sit on the thought. I don't care if it seems super crazy. I don't care if it seems like everybody's going to laugh at you. Just do it. Just do it, do it, do it, and just see. If they laugh, then they laugh. But what, what's the worst that can happen? They love it. You love it. You feel good because you got it out. I feel great today now that I've done this. I want y'all to look at my dog. I, I just want y'all to see him. Buddha is the lounger. This is him in a nutshell. He's a lounger, and I love him. So here are the end results of the photo shoot. I hope that you guys were able to take something from this video. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you in the next video.